Hey, good morning, friends, and welcome to another episode of Team Jesus Outdoors. Hey, guys, it's uh, May 20th, I think. We're nearing the end of the month. We're probably nearing the end of the walleye spawn. There was a full moon last week, and that is most likely the last of the spawning fish. So we're out today trying to find the last bit of jigging fish out here. If we, we actually caught three this morning, right at daylight. And if we can't find some jigging fish, then we're gonna pull some crawler harnesses just out to see what kind of walleye we can scrape up this morning. Well, we found a drum hole. Our game plan on Saturday, May 21st, was to go out first thing in the morning, right at daylight, try to find a quick limit of walleye jigging, and then we would spend the later morning hours looking for a bigger bite, either jigging or pulling crawl harnesses.
guys, way too many people put their boats away way too early. You hear a lot of guys mention that the spawning fish are all gone. Well, here we are, it's May 21st. I correct from what I said in the intro. It's actually May 21st. And here is a male, just a small keeper male, but this fish is still melting. So we're near the end of May. We had a full moon last week. So I still believe these are probably the last of the spawners. But this male is still melting just a little bit. So putting your boat away in May is not a good idea. Wow, you get that up high. Way high. Okay, so another bonus to May fishing is besides walleye you catch some non some non-target species and sometimes that can be smallmouth. That three and a half pounder put up a pretty good fight. Always makes for a little bit of fun. We've had several drum this morning and just continuing to make our point that mid and late May fishing is still a lot of fun out here still productive we've got uh, it's eight o'clock we've got nine keeper walleye in the box I've caught on a harness. I'll take that. So you hit the bottom once. Hit the bottom once, I hold it for a second. And then do it a second time, right? What are they doing way out in this water?
guys, as you can see by looking around us, it's about to get nasty. So we've fished for four hours and we've uh, got our limit well ahead of this storm. We've been playing catch and release here for the last hour, but um, it's fixing to get nasty on us. So, hey, ultimately what we were what we were looking to demonstrate this morning is that May fishing is still great fishing. And I think we have demonstrated that pretty successfully. Uh, we've not only got a nice limit in the box, what do we have, nine by nine in the first hour? Yeah. We yep. had nine fish jig in the first hour. It took us about another hour to get our, finish out our limit. And then we've been slowly but surely upgrading to where now we've got a box of really nice fish 17 to 25 inches i would guess we got three or four over 20. most of our ship fish jigging but the last four i'd say including two of our nicest ones have come on crawler harnesses so hey guys may is a, still a great time of year to be fishing we've had a blast we've caught not only our limit of walleye and then some We've caught lots of shorts. We've caught white perch, silver bass, smallmouth bass, drum. We've just had a blast today. Hey guys, thanks for watching another episode of Team Jesus Outdoors. Sorry to cut this one short. God bless tight lines. We'll see you guys on the river. Lord willing. <laughs>